really good thing. Yeah. So thank you very, You're very welcome. much for coming on. And thank um, you. it was nice meeting you. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we're going to go over to Jennifer with Taylor, who's going to be playing the bassoon. And that is the weirdest looking thing I've ever seen in my entire <laughs> life. So uh, take it away, guys. Brian, unfortunately, was not able to come today. I'm totally excited because I'm here with Taylor Mastretti. And you play the bassoon. I do. How long have you been playing the bassoon? I think I've been playing it since freshman summer, so a couple of years. The summer before freshman year? Sophomore year. Uh, yeah. why, why did you choose this? How did you think of it? Um, actually, I started out on the clarinet, and my band teacher just came to me one year and asked me if I wanted to play. And I said, yeah. <laughs> and I really like it, so I didn't stop. Is it, how, is it a lot different from a clarinet? Yes. Well, it looks a lot different, but I mean, like, the way it plays, the way it sounds. Yeah, it's a lot different. <laughs> There's no, it's nothing like a clarinet at all. But you go to, like, different things and play, like, the orchestras? I can't remember what they're called. I play for the band, and then I'm trying out for honor bands and things like that. And I play for the Lord Youth Symphony. Yeah, the Youth Symphony. That's mm -hmm. what it is. I knew that. <laughs> What? Well, do you want to play with us for us a little bit? I could play a little bit. I got a Disney book yesterday, so I think I'll play a couple lines of Be Our Guest. All right. I know. That's my favorite Disney movie. <laughs> for sure. back there. <laughs> so they don't teach you how to play instruments anymore in band, so how'd you learn how to play? I take lessons from Mrs. Dowlett. Mm -hmm. I've been doing that since I started and she's really good, so. Explain how the instrument works. Explain how it works? Okay. You blow through this little reed, reed thing right here. And that's a double reed. Mm -hmm. And then it goes through this long skinny tube called a vocal and then from there it's just your fingers just your fingers so where does the air come out up here um it depends on what keys you have so really it goes out different directions so it'll come out all the keys and then at the end it'll come out <laughs> so that's like the opposite of a clarinet it comes out at the top you have to put a lot of air in it I guess so. <laughs> That's awesome. This is so great because I've never heard you play and we've been friends for so long. It's great. <laughs> is it hard to use with your hand? You get, you get used to it. Yeah. How, where, where is your hand positioning on this thing? Um, the right hand goes down here mm -hmm. and then the top one goes up here. Wow. That kind of reminds me of a saxophone a little bit. Kind of. Is this like in... What? The guy in there, Dr. Oh. Um, <laughs> How much do they cost? This one, I think, after everything, it was almost three thousand yeah. dollars. That's that's a student bassoon, so the, the intermediate and professionals go well over five. This is. So um, I think I want to. What? <laughs> Are you gonna play in college? Yeah, I want to play in college. Where do you want to go to college? Um, I want to go to San Francisco State University. So they have a good, pretty good instrument program. Actually, I think it's really good. And Does that mean that you would play in the San Francisco Symphony? Well, you have to audition for that. So. Ooh, I see. <laughs> Is now, would you recommend this? Right, I'm going to jump in here. Okay. Would you recommend this, like somebody who's starting out playing band, doing things? An instrument like simple like the clarinet like you started out with? I would start out on the clarinet just like I started out. Okay. Because I know like they don't let kids do saxophones 
in younger grades, especially like in the fifth grade when they just start, because the, it's too, the fingers are too spread apart, it's hard to get all the fingers, so they start with the clarinet, like you did. Now, how long have you been ambidextrous? I mean, that's ambidextrous? something. Ambidextrous? Ambidextrous, you can use both your hands. Though no, that's, you just teach yourself. It's different. I'm, I'm right-handed. Really? Ambidextrous is a little bit different. Okay, so like, <laughs> all you can do with your left hand is play, but assume like you can't like do other things with it? Um, I, think I that's shoot the left-handed. Thing. Do you really? It's kind of weird. That's kind of cool, actually. And I skate. I skate left-footed, too. But I'm not bad at that, so I don't care. Do you play any other instruments? I play the clarinet, and I play the violin. The violin, really? Wow, that's very cool. Now, I noticed that you got a little, like, strap. Is that so, like, it doesn't go flying off in yeah. space or something? It's kind of heavy. Okay. So, oh, you have it, like, balanced. Yeah. How much does it weigh? Can I hold it? Yeah. Play again? <laughs> play yeah, again. play us one more song right before we go. Can you? Do you have anything? Do something different? Do you know like a song off the top of your head? Not off the top of my head. All right, let's pick one. Um, let's do... Dance the Sugar Plum Fairies. Dance, yes! I think this is a Disney book. <laughs> There's Colors of the Wind. Colors of the Wind? Under the Sea. Have you ever seen this music before? Or are you just kind of playing off the... No, I got it yesterday, so... All right, yesterday. so it's still fresh. It's still fresh. <laughs> Let's hear it. Fresh. Caught it yesterday. <laughs> Thank you.